20 terrifying broad daylight encounters, according to Reddit. Number 20. In Rio, I was robbed at gunpoint. Fuck, did they type it like that? On a crowded street in broad daylight. The guy just put the gun to my back and walked with me and said, Give me your money or I'll take your life. My heart hasn't ever beat faster. I was definitely not robbed at fun point. That's why he wrote it like that. <laughs> because he must have written fun yeah. point. <laughs> fun I was robbed at fun point. Like, it's like, man, it sounds like a destination hotspot we gotta go to. This is a serious list. Also, for those curious, I gave up my money without a fuss before you may think you'll do something different. Um, but when you are in the moment and you don't have time to think through a, each scenario, is your life worth risking 10 bucks over? Nah. However, I was robbed again by the same two, same guys two more times with a knife and then a gun again. What the fuck? On the third time, I just kind of yelled, kind of pissed through the money on the ground and kept walking. They didn't get my cell phone at least. Told the cops they did nothing each time. We eventually stopped seeing them. We being exchange students, and me who all got robbed by them on multiple occasions. This is fucking pathetic, man. I can see you getting robbed one time and then, you know, being ill-equipped to do anything about it, but to be essentially picked on, that's fucked. Let's move on. Number 19. I was working a construction job a while back and I was told to wait on the ground floor for someone. I bent down to retime my boots and a pallet full of mixing cement comes crashing down where I was just standing. I clearly remember the foreman saying, I would have been stone cold dead if my shoes were tied. Broad daylight, nobody reported the accident. It was different back then. If anyone has seen the movie Grand Canyon, you'll know how I felt. That's more like a Looney Tunes scene where he bends yeah. down and like misses like Wile E. Coyote's fucking death blow. Some guy says he knows the feeling, as the top comment, was walking between two towers. Okay. Okay. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. I'm, I'm God. Because they're going to know that I've stopped to laugh thinking about the two towers. And it's not, it's not that that was funny. It's just what it's become online is funny. The two towers we were building. I paused because I was texting slash emailing reporting another incident, which had just happened. And I thought it would be silly to get hurt while walking texting only to have form work smash down in front of me an instant later. Number 18. Recently went to Dolphin Cove to take care of my number one bucket list item, swim with sharks, white people crazy. I went with my best friend. Her and I are in our 40s and cute enough in our own right. to be cute in a shark's mouth. Our shark trainer flirted with us, but we thought nothing of it. Once we were in the water, we had to sit on a bench he maneuvered the shark on our lap. Part of the program was the trainer guiding our hands to feel the shark. Wait, 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 wait. So they're not sitting in a cage. They're actually with the sharks. You're, you're asking me like I, I have personal <laughs> experience with this kind of fucked behavior. <laughs> You know, this uh, uh, he 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 said it was part of his bucket list. Like I want to, you know, I've seen she everything there is to see. So let's just go do some bullshit. You know what I mean? But apparently, yes, they are in intimate encounter with this shark, this killer. So I, I, we don't know what type of shark it is. Maybe it's an earth shark, but I doubt it. Um, he put both of our hands on his very <laughs> erect penis. Wait, we, the shark or the man? The man. <laughs> the, the, the man, okay? He put their hands on his erect penis. What a job to be making moves on people. It's just like, hey, you guys gonna fuck me or what? I got this shark right here. You would be ashamed if something were to happen with this shark. He put both of our hands on his very erect penis. We again kind of blew it off thinking it was an accident. <laughs> look, look. Then he, he told us to spread our legs so we could hold and balance the shark on our legs. He slid his hand up our thighs and got his fingers under both of our bottoms before we stopped him. 
we both felt violated and had ruined my very top bucket list item experience for me. It horrifies and frightens me to think of how often he's done that with other women and kids. Well, what a maniac. What a maniac. Top comment is, that is not the direction I thought that story was heading in when you mentioned swimming with sharks. I mean, who did? The guy asked, did you report him? That's the thing to do. Yes. Admittedly, the next morning, um, but yes, we did. The company I work for brings Dolphin Cove a good sum of money. So I called my boss to talk um, it through with her. At least something good came out of it. We went, uh, we went in to make a formal statement for Dolphin Cove and the police. They had already pulled the trainer from his job that day, but had not told him why. He saw my friend and I when we walked in. They had him sitting in the main lobby. We found out when my boss called in to ensure that they were moving forward with our complaint. That when he saw us. So you think that's going to make the thumbnail of the video? You think I should put just like a shark and like a dude raising his eyebrows or something? Just like, mm -hmm. it's pretty stupid. Number 17 says the hospital called 911 because my mom had a seizure at hospital in in the ridiculous bright light. And the doctor comes in and says they found a brain tumor wow texted my sister immediately and then moments later i could hear her sobbing in the waiting area the beginning of the end that kind of sucks it's pretty sad as an internet stranger to another my condolences was your mom able to get surgery she had the tumor removed and we were able to enjoy three more years with her before she passed away nice happy story you know what i mean just for you stripes you feeling good? You, wanna, you, you feel that this is a nice upbeat list for you? I'm glad I'm here. Um, many years ago, I was just about to walk into the restaurant where I was the assistant manager when I was approached by this huge guy who was all smiles and generally gave across his body language of being friendly. Sorry, but I need to ask you something. This English is not this person's first language. I'm just going to keep going. Next thing I knew, he was screaming at me about some friend I hadn't seen in a while. Turns out my friend had stole, stolen some weed off this dodgy guy, and my name had come up for some reason. Right there in the middle of a busy road in a busy city, he pulled out a Stanley knife and told me he was going to cut my throat with it if I didn't give him 350 pounds right there. I still don't remember exactly what I said to him, but he left. He told me he was going to kill me if he ever saw me again. And I went into work. What a fucking ride. Do people actually think others walk around with that much cash on them? Feels like criminals and homeless people need to invest in their own personal debit machines. Yeah, I, I would imagine people like this have nothing to lose, so, you know, they're not walking around thinking. 16. The person is 16. Female fresh out of school for the day. Take the bus home and I'm sitting next to a kid who felt like wearing all red. The car pulls up and the guy in the back seat has a handgun. Points it at the kid in the red, but I knew more or less everyone at the bus stop was going to get shot because some dumbass wanted to wear off gang affiliated colors. Light turns green and the driver goes and I'm reeling the whole what if scenarios for a few days. Wow. Well, at least nothing happened. Wait, here's another story. So this is like a bonus one. Same age, sitting on a bus on my way to school one morning in my Catholic schoolgirl uniform, knee-high skirt with opaque tights and a button-down shirt. You know this led to fetishes. When I notice that I can feel the hand on the back of a hand and knuckles of the guy next to me on the outside of my upper thigh, he had his hands folded with his shirt jacket over them. I thought nothing of it and moved to give some space between us. Our bumpy ride continues and I'm distracted in my book. I feel his hand again and so I move again. The bus becomes more crowded and then I feel his palm grab and rub my thigh. I was shocked. I, t I don't know if it was a flight a f flight response or that my brain clicked into autopilot because he had arrived at my bus stop but I booked off the bus. Probably both. I told my friends who were on the bus with me and other friends spoke up and said she had a similar experience a few weeks ago. I drew a picture of the guy as best I could. His profile was very memorable and we filed a report with the police. Months go by 
as I was standing on the same public bus chatting with friends, I see a student from my school from a younger year sitting alone in the back of the bus and I see the jean jacket guy sit right next to her. I don't know where it all came from, but I was so empowered in that moment. I fucking screamed at him. I can't really recall what I said. Something to the effect of, hey you, get the fuck off the bus. You grab my leg, you grab her leg. Pointing to my friend. And something tells me you're about to grab this girl's leg too. Get the fuck out of here, you fucking pervert. I reported you to police and I'm telling you you're here again so they can catch you. He booked off the bus and we never saw him again. I followed up with the cops, but I have no idea what came of it. Probably nothing. <sighs> I'm pretty proud of 16-year-old me speaking up like that, though. First time. This is the kind of thing I dream of being able to do. Stand up for yourselves, ladies, you know? If you're listening to this, just believe in yourself. Also, you have camera phones, so take pictures of these motherfuckers. You can shut them down. You know what I'm talking about? You can shut this motherfucker down. Unless you're into it. Am I, am I getting off subject here? supposed to be keeping me on track stripes anyway um number 14 right a client threatened my family in court he had just finished nearly beating an old man to death with with a four-way what's a four-way i don't know what a four-way is oh you know what it may be you know what? those like uh uh like the tire irons that are in the shape of a cross no idea what you're talking about there are tire irons right um yeah that are like in the shape of a plus sign or an X. You've never seen them. Do I look so what who would be acquainted with these kind of things? Well, you're Mexican. You gotta figure this shit oh out. What is it? I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But long story short, yes, it looks exactly like this. It's a tire iron in the shape of a uh, of an X. Do they call them four ways? If we type in four-way, you think something bad's gonna come up on the internet? Let me just get ready to uh, click off the screen in case it does. See? Yes, I was right. I like that my brain could put that together. Do you understand me? I am the chosen one. At any rate, we've definitely spotted the person who's not from America, because I don't think that American people call this four ways, and I don't think the people that are listening to this video are trying to watch me talk to you about phrases that we don't recognize, and then assume what those phrases must mean, and then Google it, and then verify it, and then jack ourselves off because we can't believe that we were fucking right. The second comment says, when my dad was a trial attorney, he had some scumbag quietly tell him he was going to kill my dad's friend. Family. So my dad pretended not to hear him and asked the guy to repeat himself, at which point the guy yelled it at him and the judge took notice. Easy way to extend your sentence. Attorney here, going to remember that for reference. <laughs> I didn't quite hear that one. Can you repeat that? What the fuck at? Um, fistula rupture of a patient in my hospital. I don't know what that is, but we can assume that it's a bloody experience because the next... He goes on to say that there was blood everywhere. Blood on the floor, ceilings, workers, and everyone, everything else you could imagine. It was splurging everywhere. Doctors and nurses worked on her 45 minutes, but nothing they could do to save her. It looked like someone had been slashed open with a sword in the room. And the worst part is that her three kids were there to see it. Jesus Christ, that sounds fucking terrible. That must have scarred those poor kids for life. I mean, it depends on when it happened. You know what I mean? If this happened like two days ago, the kids have probably seen worse on the internet. I mean, you, you've you been introduced to a couple wreck threads yourself. A stripes. Almost drowned as a six-year-old in a populated adult pool. I have to like remind myself what list this is. It's 20 terrifying things that happened in broad daylight. Because I like, I'm forgetting what we're doing. Person says they almost drowned as a six-year-old in a populated adult pool. I was floundering for what felt like a minute, quickly losing breath and swallowing water. No one around me heard my gargled cries. No one helped. Thank God my mother pulled me out before it was too late. And that's how I developed my fear of water. The worst part about drowning is that untrained people have no idea what it's like. Yeah. There's a site called Spotting the Dry Drowning Child. That sounds like a virtual reality game that uh that needs to be made. We could make it, Stripes. You want to you want to be on the cutting edge? Of course I do. All right, check it out. I'm gonna start the Kickstarter page. You can fund me, and then uh, I'll let you be the drowning kid. I What's thought it? you meant like, what? I thought you meant you wanted me on as a graphic artist. I mean, you could do the artwork too, but I'd I really want you to be the person drowning. Okay. Can you give me like a so, good you drowning 
like what, as a kid in Prussian. What you're telling me is that you want me to be the artist and still give you money and also work for you. Sounds like a dream deal. <laughs> Like, I'm almost jealous that I can't take your place. Seriously, though. Like, let's hear you a little bit of you drowning. You have, like, a bottle of water on deck that you could, like... Yeah, I do. All right, all right, let's, let's, let's hear it. Come on. I hate you. Come on. <laughs> She's gonna do it. <laughs> Marla, come on. Come on. Stripes. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Come on. You know what? On second thought, you're going to get water everywhere. You hug up on me. I did. You stupid piece of... Moving on. <laughs> um, I choked in KFC. Somebody choked on chicken. <sighs> Somebody choked on chicken. I know this is a serious threat and all, but goddamn, the juxtaposition of this comment um, to the most of the others made me laugh. Yeah, he choked on chicken at KFC, and he's dead serious. And that's the most terrifying thing that's happened to him in, in broad daylight. Another um, one is, I got jumped, put in a headlock while the group um, of people looked on while I was screaming. I was 13, and while this was going on, a crackhead picked up my bike and took off with it. All on my city's public square. Literally the center of town. Now I carry a knife wherever I go. I was jumped too, but it was at night time. And it didn't go well with the people who jumped me. Moving on to the next one. He, want, he edited it though. So many of you have said that I shouldn't carry a knife. Well, the problem with that is that if I don't, I'm probably dead. That's sad to say, but that's how this area is. Yeah, nigga, like, I love that people uh, um, in the comment section on Reddit consider themselves so entitled that they can tell a, a dude living a life that they know nothing about how he should be defending himself when he's literally given a scenario in which he's been in where he was overpowered by a group of guys you know what i mean so what are they implying like oh if you carried the knife then they'd probably just kill you you know what i mean what if you can get it i would recommend pepper spray over a knife for self-defense a knife takes a lot of skill to use in a fight and can easily be used against you huh? so can the pepper spray though the pepper spray can get all oh like the best types of sprays um it doesn't fucking matter what direction you send it in. You know what I'm talking about? It's getting everywhere. No, no, no. I just mean it can, it can be used against you, but I guess not to the same extent. He says he's in Northeast Pennsylvania, and his city came number four for the most homicides per capita two years back in America. Jesus Christ. So here's the next one. I'm not sure if it was the most terrifying thing that happened to me, but it was the most terrifying thing that happened to me at that point in my life. I was 11 in Cape Town, South Africa, visiting family. My parents were walking in front of me, and I was walking with my little cousin directly behind them. We were in a shopping mall. I don't care where it was. Anyway, I think my parents had stopped to get some money out of the ATM, and my cousin and I were just being silly, as you do at that age. This guy, maybe in his mid-twenties, sat across from us on a bench, pointed at us, then at my parents, and then dragged his finger along his neck. He then pulled open his jacket and pulled a gun out of his pocket. What is with the pointing at them and slicing his neck shit? What the fuck? What movie did he just watch? I don't know if it was a real gun, and I didn't care to find out. I told my parents immediately, and we kind of circulated the security personnel before eventually leaving. It was a bit of an un uncomfortable situation. That's a way of phrasing it. The response, the response, the response, what the fuck was I trying to say? A friend of my housemate was nearly mugged in South Africa. These two guys somehow talked the not very bright friend into their hotel room and told him to hand over his money. He didn't really get what was going on and just replied, um, no thanks, and then he left. They were so shocked, they just let him leave. Pfft. Okay. My dog and I were stopped at a crosswalk, and he barks and scares this woman. As soon as he barks, the walk... The walk dude came up to the cross, but the lady started yelling 
about my needing to control my dog, and she pulled out a taser. I'm just trying to get across the street and starts making even bigger scenes saying how she's going to shock me. My dog is barking at the crazy lady and we are standing in the street now at a busy intersection and I thought to myself, I'm about to get tased in front of all of these people. But he didn't get tased. Otherwise, that would be what he's typing about the story. So I guess that's crazy for him as, you know, some woman pulling a taser going, I will shock you. Old ladies have nothing to do. Did you know that, Perla? <laughs> you know what I'm I talking can't about? post this video. What? <laughs> okay. Okay, you're right. I won't. You know, on my honor. I'm just gonna finish this for us then. Yeah. A guy felt up. A guy felt me up on an extremely crowded bus. I totally froze. What? Like a fucking Asian porno? Couldn't bring myself to move a muscle as his hand slid up the bare skin of my inner thigh. I was wearing a skirt. What the fuck? She froze? What kind of fucking world are you living in? It was an odd experience. I never expected myself to react like that. I always imagined that if someone like that, something like that happened, I'd shove them off or call them out or something, but I didn't. I didn't do anything. A lot of people don't realize the fight or flight has a third brother called Freeze. It's like entirely it's unconscious and uncontrollable. What happened, Stripes? I guess it's a kind of a deer in the head slight reaction. It's fucking crazy to me. I, I don't understand it either. I don't think... Like, I, I think first instinct would be to flinch for most people, at least. Like I said, man, fight or flight. It just seems like what the fuck is up. And this bitch just froze. That's scary as hell. Poor girl. A few years, a few years ago, I was at a bowling center on a busy day. When we were about to leave, we heard a big bang. Bazinga. <laughs> You laughed. You are what's wrong with the fucking planet. A man had thrown the heaviest bowling ball on a woman's head. Later, I read that he did it on purpose, and the woman had severe brain damage. Jesus Christ. Somebody threw a bowling ball at a woman's fucking head. Niggas aren't playing. People are not playing. How do people do it? How do they live their lives like monsters? Like it's just every like like real life is a video game. Oh, my God. The man got sentenced to 18 months in prison just 18 stripes in less than two years you're out free because the person didn't die or something shit i bet you it wasn't a black man that threw that bowling ball this nigger tried to kill that old lady this nigger i'm kidding at any rate let's read these comments holy shit 18 months is child's play for that type of crime sentences in the netherlands are a joke hey you know where we should move the netherlands take a video camera Get some sick ass YouTube videos. You know what I mean? You think they take my channel down if we went and broke laws that are laws here but not laws in other countries? Because it's legal there. But if it's illegal, could we post it on the internet knowing that it would definitely uh, encourage people to, to do it, which would be breaking the law because it is the law in other places? Write a seven page essay on the question that I just asked you and have it back to me by the morning. <laughs> just realized how like loaded it was and you were just like hey, what, what we <laughs> <laughs> a couple of years ago i was jogging in the center of my town as usual that's not how we spell center in america you know what i mean all these foreigners answering questions of my town as usual when i realized i was being followed by some guy i had never seen he kept trying to talk to me, and at some point he grabbed me from behind and went full molester on me. I shook free and started screaming, knocking on the hood of a car passing by. He ran away, never to be found. Jesus Christ. I couldn't jog for a year. Edit. Obligatory rest in peace my inbox. Also, thanks for the encouraging replies. I resumed jogging after a year or so, by the way. Would also like to remind everyone in the situation um, of possible assault to run away. Make a lot of noise, run towards houses, people, cars, so you don't get someone's attention and be helped. Scream fire if need be. People may ignore calls for help, but usually respond in case of fire. And lastly, report the incident to the authorities. You know, thank God we live in an age of camera phones because even people that otherwise wouldn't give a fuck about things going down would give a fuck if they could capture it 
on their camera phone and then get the attention of being able to say that they were there. Do you know what I mean? So the bottom line is, with a lot of things going down now, the only enemy is you freezing like that bitch that was getting felt up on the bus. Because if you make some fucking noise, somebody's gonna come. I'll show up and be like, you know, narrator captures. And I'm just like, would you get a load of this shit while I'm holding the camera? In landscape mode, because I do not record vertical videos. Don't do it, listeners. A response to this fire thing where she got felt up when she was running says, I was on my high school's cross country team and we used to run in sports bras in the park across our school. The boys ran without shirts on, so it was never an issue. Then one day, one of my teammates was off on her own and a guy basically jumped out of the trees and grabbed her and tried to feel her up. He shoved his hands down her chest some people are just pigs and you know the worst part is some girls are into it but you're not supposed to do it without verifying that they are and that's the that's the the, you know i've i've uh, fucking cleared myself you know what i'm talking about can't get mad at me now guys a response to that response says that sounds horrifying i don't get how some people make the leap in their minds to girls look kind of nice running in sports brawls to i'm going to hide in this bush and leap out and grope one of them forcefully how does that honestly happen i'm male and i'll admit well damn she's hot has nice dot 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 thoughts are fairly common but they have to stop there i struggle to see that there's just being an asshole and i can't be enough to turn these thoughts into sordid actions and then the response to that, the response to that response of the response to um this is uh i am female okay kyle stop and <laughs> and I have those thoughts about men all the time as do many of my friends we don't assault people either i mean yes guys there's a difference between thinking something and do it you've all been riding in the car before and thought man it'd be crazy as fuck if i opened this door and just rolled the fuck out what would happen to this shit you know what i'm talking about but just because you have an urge doesn't mean you're gonna do it there's like a difference it's called uh restraint there's like a middleman between the god this is why i you know i don't recommend a lot of people getting drunk because it's when you get drunk that that type of urge is not separated from a dude going now is this a good idea you can hear the cops coming for me right now while i'm trying to fucking read this thing so let me just continue uh, are we even close to done here's another one it was well lit and populated as it was in my workplace i was a pourer in a foundry at the time due to a mistake in the metal It had to be put back into the furnace instead of being poured, a job that is done by using a crane to take the ladle, a big bucket of molten metal, back to the furnace. The ladle is then manually rolled over and the metal poured back into the furnace. I was the lucky guy to roll it in, and whilst rolling it, the crave driver made a mistake and moved the ladle out of position. This resulted in a wave of 1600 degrees Celsius metal flying towards me like water off a spoon in a sink. Due to the light coming from the molten metal, I couldn't gauge the depth of the wave at the time, but looked down to see nothing but orange light surrounded me from the waist up. This lasted a moment at most, but at the moment, every possible injury that could come across my mind. No injury came of that. Like a spoon in the sink, the wave was very thin, and my gear was good enough, but I was genuinely terrified at the moment. Jesus H. Christ, that's the most horrifying thing in the thread. Well, we don't know that, because I doubt it's the top comment. And we're going to get to that top comment. Yeah, I did end up getting some rather serious burns in that place. But that one time I wasn't hurt was by far the scariest. There's a comment here with a picture. The only thing I can envision is that you were pretty close to this for a few seconds. This ought to be good. And it's a thumbs up. It's a thumbs up. You know what this is from, Stripes? No, I don't know where it's from. I love that. I love that. It's going to be the best part of the video. Because somebody's going to be like, what do you mean? She doesn't know where it's from. What the fuck? <laughs> You're the best, Drapes. An addict. An addict. God damn it. An addict wanted money from me downtown. But I literally had nothing but my clothes on me. So I said, sorry, man. I'm all out. Dude lumbers towards me slowly. 
pushes me over and stabs me in the thigh with a Swiss army knife. I booked it into the hospital for stitches. Didn't hurt until I actually looked at it. Adrenaline didn't stop pumping for a very long time. The adrenaline. Edit. Lots of people asking, why didn't you run? if he was lumbering towards you. I was 13, he was a full grown adult. If I had a bad haircut, he pulled a knife on me, I froze in fear. Oh, he had a bad haircut. What does that have to do with anything, you dirty little dick sucker? I bet you slept super well when the adrenaline wore off. That shit is exhausting. I think we may have made it to the top comment, which means this is no, 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 no. God, okay, okay, we're two away. Number two. When I was 12 years old, I was beaten up in a crowded bus station at rush hour by several year older boys than me for absolutely no reason whatsoever. It was a completely unprovoked attack and I was trapped against a one-way door. The adults standing around waiting for their buses to go home from work did absolutely nothing to help me or to stop me from being attacked. You know what it is? They were probably rich people and they know that getting involved makes them liable. You want the truth? There it is. Calling out someone personally to help you will provoke a response a lot faster than generally asking for help. Huh. By putting them on the spot, you force them to help you in a public pressure kind of way. That's the that's the bottom line, and I've said it before, is that a lot of people will act one way, but if you give them an audience, they'll act another way because they're pretending to be something that they're not, you know? Which is, you know, a good person. <laughs> Same applies to someone in an accident. For example, if you ask a bystander to dial 911, chances are no one will. If you point out someone and tell them to call 911, they'll be much more likely to call. You know what I mean? Um, no, no, no. I thought this was more like a, I can't believe you're not calling 911. And then pointing at one guy and he's just like, God, jeez, you're so do it. You know what I mean? Oh man, why are there deleted comments? This would have been the book. Come on. Why? Well, why? fucking fun police in the goddamn comment section whatever the top comment here number one i was taking my kids for a walk in the park near our apartment when a guy and a woman came out of the tree suddenly and the guy said to give him my wallet and anything else in my pockets he had some weird screwdriver knife thing and i pushed my daughter my eldest child behind me I was going to do the same for my son, but the woman grabbed his other arm for some reason and my heart felt like it was going to explode for some reason. Did you really write some reason twice? For some reason? Try not to make that joke again, Kyle. It's going to be my hardest thing. I suddenly forgot about self-preservation and jumped forward and broke the, the woman's nose. Yeah, fuck that. I felt a sharp pain under my ribs and looked to see what the man had just shanked me with. But at this point, two other guys who had been jogging were running up and shouting. The police that patrolled the park showed up not long after that, and I was sitting and trying not to bleed to death. The man had run off and his screwdriver was still in me. The woman was on the ground crying and shouting because I had also knocked the top front of her teeth loose or out. The two joggers were originally asking the woman if, if I was the assaulter, but the situation cleared up soon. I got taken to the hospital and questioned about um, the incident. There was a while when it looked like I was going to be charged with battery for the woman, since it turns out she actually had a decently well-off family. She was just an addict. They tried to sue me, but it was thrown out, and she was sentenced for attempted kidnapping. I mean, you know, it must have really looked bad, because usually women can say anything and the, the law will believe them. So, you know, good for him that he got out of a situation where he was being attacked. Because when there's women involved, holy shit. I just love that, you know, whoever she was with, the guy just ran off. Shows how uh, how faithful he was. Guy says he had a tube in his chest for weeks after his surgery to remove the shank. But it all cleared up after that. Just glad my kids are safe. Stripes, aren't you glad your kids are safe too? Wait, is she even here? Man. I'm always so alone. Did you like this video, guys? <sighs> well, if you didn't like it, then who's gonna... 
Jesus.